My name is Miss Robbins and I'm a science teacher here at the Oasis Academy. Um, I run a STEM club which basically stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths and it's an after school club where our year 7 students can come and do some really fun and exciting, really wacky science or technology, engineering and maths. Things that they maybe wouldn't normally get the opportunity to do in the curriculum. So today we've had Zoo Lab in and they've brought a variety of different animals really from um, the forest and they talked about their habitats and their adaptations and it fits nicely in with the curriculum but unfortunately we don't have access to snakes and things like that when we're teaching the, the syllabus so um, it's a great opportunity for them that they maybe wouldn't normally have. This is Pixie, she's an emperor scorpion. Now in the box with her you'll see two other black things, they're crickets, that's a dinner. One of them is upside down because she's killed it, played with it and decided she's not going to eat it after all so we'll have to get that out later but one of them is perfectly alive and she hasn't eaten it yet, she might eat that tonight. So have a little go with her, see what you think okay. Like I said, not getting her out of the box for two reasons. Zoo Lab is a company based in Scotland and they basically hire people like me to sort of go around schools, nursing homes, nurseries, doing a variety of talks, do animal therapy with old people and we do sort of talks on mini bees with the younger ones and then things to fit into the curriculum for primary and secondary. Today we've got a giant African snail called Jack who's three years old and we've got a cockroach, a giant Madagascan hissing cockroach called Tim who's one. We've got Mickey the giant millipede who is about two years old now and 30 centimetres long. We've got um, Zaid who's a corn snake and he's seven years old at four and a half feet. We've got a tree frog called Rain um, and he's two years old and then we've got a scorpion called Pixie who's three. These are the sorts of things that they're sort of scared of or they're picking up fear from the parents or they see it on the telly with a snake hunting something and so it's a good idea for them to show them and say look they're not all bad and sort of show them and say you know they're important to us and why because a lot of people nowadays don't consider animals to be as important as maybe what they used to so it's nice to have the kids sort of getting involved and sort of realising that they're an important part of your lives and that they're actually not all bad. Well, I've learnt like where the different animals live and I've learnt that there was this guy called Dr White who discovered the white tree frog, that's why they're called the white tree frog, and I discovered that when frogs like, when they shed the skin they eat it as they shed it. The scorpion was quite scary because it was trying to eat a cricket um, and we were learning all about the different habitats and how they adapt to live there. I didn't really want to watch the touch the cockroach though because I've seen them on I'm a celebrity get me out of here and they don't look that nice. Most of the kids just wanted to have a go, have a little hold, have a little touch. Um, a couple of them were a little bit more wary, but we didn't have any, any screamers, which is always a bonus. So yeah, they were all really good today. Excellent. I think all of the um, children were very positive about today. They were very excited before they came, and I think um, Zoo Lab definitely lived up to their expectations, probably exceeded their expectations. It's been really good because I've learned about all the habitats and a lot about the rainforest. I thought it was really good and it was one of the best things we've done in STEM Club. He's got no teeth. 